Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. I scored 30 out of 30 in TOEFL writing. In this lesson, I will tell you seven hacks for the integrated task that will boost your score like this. Let's get started. What is the integrated task about? In the integrated task, you first read an article and after that, you listen to a lecture. In the article, the writer states his arguments regarding a specific topic. In the lecture, the lecturer opposes these arguments by stating counter arguments. Your task is to explain how the lecturer's arguments oppose the writer's arguments. Pay attention here, guys. Don't include your own opinion on the subject. Only compare what the two sides are. That's really important. If you talk about your own opinion, your score will drop tremendously. We will now have a look at the hacks you can use to boost your TOEFL writing score. Let's start with hack number one. Use linking words. Guys, linking words are essential in TOEFL integrated writing. Linking words are words such as however, furthermore, additionally, and so on. They show the TOEFL examiners that you know how to organize your ideas in a logical way. Using them makes it easier for the reader to understand how the points in your argument relate to each other. Further, linking words demonstrate that you know a wide variety of vocabulary and this will boost your TOEFL writing score. I used a ton of linking words in my TOEFL essays and I scored 30 out of 30, so you should definitely use them. You can find a lot of linking words in my TOEFL writing template for the integrated task. The sentence starters in this template all use different linking words. If you memorize them, you make sure that there are enough linking words in your essay. Also, you won't need to think about how to start your sentences and you make sure that you use good vocabulary and a good structure in your answer. Don't forget that you only have 20 minutes to write the integrated essay. That's just enough time to think about the key points you want to mention. It's not enough time to think about which linking words you want to use. They must be in your head when you write your integrated essay. If you need a template for TOEFL writing, click on the link in the description. You can access my templates for all TOEFL writing tasks TOEFL integrated writing and independent writing there. We will move on to hack number two. Use the correct structure. The structure of your integrated essay must include an introduction and three body paragraphs. Practice writing sample essays before you take the TOEFL and use this structure because this will help you memorize it. In the introduction, you must first state what the article and the lecture are about. They deal with the same topic, so you only need to write down that topic. Then you must state what the writer's and the lecturer's points of view are. They are directly opposed, so make sure you make that clear. In the first body paragraph, you should explain the writer's first argument and the lecturer's first counter-argument. 
make sure that you write at least two sentences regarding each argument. In body paragraphs two and three, you go on like that. Each time you state the writer's argument and the lecturer's counter-argument. Now you may ask, but don't I have to write a conclusion? It seems a bit weird writing an essay without a conclusion, right? The answer is you can, but you don't have to. I didn't write a conclusion in my integrated essay and I scored 30 out of 30. So it's definitely possible to get a high score without writing a conclusion. But if you prefer writing a conclusion, you can do it. You can write one sentence that summarizes the topic and both stances. For instance, you can do it like this. Therefore, the writing passage promotes the use of farm tuna, but the lecturer offers three counter arguments about why farming is bad for the environment. Or to summarize, while the text thinks there are advantages to asteroid mining, the lecturer cautions against it. These sentences restate the topic, which is farming tuna and asteroid mining, and they restate the opinions of the lecturer and the writer. Do you find this video helpful so far? If yes, you can help me too. Hit the like button now so that other people know that this video can help them prepare for their TOEFL test. Hack number three is take efficient notes. Before you start writing the integrated essay, you must take notes because this will really help you when you write. First, draw a table. When reading the article, take notes on the left side of the table. When listening to the lecture, write down your notes on the right side of the table. Only write down keywords. There is no time for more. If you arrange your notes in this way, it will be easy for you to contrast the arguments of the writer and the lecturer in your integrated essay. Let's check out hack number four. Paraphrase. Paraphrasing means using different words than those given in the article and in the lecture. In your integrated essay, you must absolutely paraphrase the information given. Don't use the words that the writer and the lecturer use. Instead, write in your own words. It's a lot easier to paraphrase in your essay if you already use your own words when taking notes. When you write your essay, you are stressed out because the time is running and you need to focus on writing down all important points. So it's likely that you forget to paraphrase. If you paraphrase when taking notes, you won't need to think about it when writing your essay. Hack number five is don't always use to say. In the integrated task, you must talk about the arguments of the writer and the lecturer. Do not start each sentence with the lecturer says that and the writer says that. This won't get you any points for vocabulary. Instead, use different words for to say. This is an excellent opportunity to show the TOEFL examiners your wide range of language. There are so many different words that you can use instead of to say. For instance, you can use to claim, argue or point out. When you talk about how the lecturer opposes the writer's arguments, you can use verbs like reject, oppose or challenge. You can find a lot of these words in my integrated task template. Each sentence starter in this template uses a different word for to say.
So if you memorize them, you will have all these words in your head when you take the TOEFL. So you will have them ready for writing an amazing essay. Let's have a look at hack number six. Use different tenses. Guys, the integrated essay is an amazing opportunity to show off your English language skills. One way of showing how great your English is, is to use different tenses. For example, check out this integrated essay. This is my sample answer for a TOEFL practice test. In this test, the writer argues that the traditional voting system in the US should be substituted for a computerized voting system and the lecturer opposes the writer's claims. As you can see here, I use many different tenses in this essay. For instance, here it says, if an error is caused, that's the passive tense. Or here I say, this technology had to be improved continuously. Had is the past tense and to be improved continuously is the passive infinitive. In the same sentence, I even use another tense. I say it was used frequently. That's the past simple passive. If you want to practice with this essay, check out the link in the description. You can access this essay there. Finally, we will end with hack number seven use complex sentence structures. Make sure that you use difficult sentence structures in your integrated essay. For example, use if clauses and relative clauses. Also, use specific words that allow you to construct more complex sentences. For example, use the word while. This word helps you write really advanced sentences because it allows you to use contrasting information in one sentence. Check out this sentence. While the author of the reading thinks that wood products should be eco-certified for three specific reasons, the lecturer opposes the author's claims. So the pattern is this. While the author of the reading thinks that blah blah blah, the lecturer opposes the author's claims. This is a sentence that you can find in my integrated writing template. It belongs in the introduction of your integrated essay, where you must contrast the opinion of the writer and the lecturer. Here you can see that if you memorize the templates, you will have great vocabulary and complex sentence structures in your head when you take the TOEFL. That's it. These are seven hacks that boost your score in TOEFL integrated writing. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or a video wish, comment below and I would love to see you next time. Bye bye.